Every year, nearly 800,000 people in the U.S. have a stroke. The impacts are often long-term and life-changing. But as Chris Conte shows us, one of the smallest devices is about to make a big difference for stroke victims trying to regain their way of life. Buried deep in a complex web of equations are the answers Dr. Michael Kilgard is looking for. His life's research has been dedicated to helping Americans who have suffered from a stroke. People who receive a diagnosis with a serious neurological or psychiatric disease, it's very unlikely that we'll be able to develop a new cure to treatment. And what he showed us recently could change everything for stroke victims. Here's a patient who's receiving vagus nerve stimulation while practicing scooping uh, beans into a cup. For years, doctors have relied on this fairly large stimulator device. It's implanted near the neck of a stroke victim and helps stimulate the vagus nerve, which tells the brain to do everything from gripping a fork to walking. This is a stroke uh, victim who's doing physical therapy. He's lifting his arm or putting his arm behind his back. Now, though, this team at UT Dallas has received approval to move forward with clinical trials for this much smaller restore device. Our goal is to eventually understand the brain and spinal cord enough so that we can go in and actually rechange the circuit so that the things that are happening that shouldn't be happening stop. During physical therapy sessions, patients wear a small necklace, which communicates to the restore device in their neck and then tells the vagus nerve and brain to go beyond what stroke victims may be limited to, moving an arm higher or telling a hand to grip harder. Most people can't even feel it. So this is happening subconscious to them. So the patients we're looking at two, three, five, seven years out from their injury, and they are getting better. So this is the uh, pinch device, and we use it to measure the pinch force. Rob Renneker is also on the team here. As a former Marine, he's focused on his fellow veterans. We would see these guys coming back injured. This device is also helping servicemen and women suffering from PTSD. 22 veterans every day commit suicide, so for them it's life-changing. Unlike the old vagus nerve stimulator made by hand, this tiny chip can be mass-produced by the thousands, decreasing costs and increasing access to countless more patients. Our device, it, it makes it so much simpler. You just put it in, you forget about it, and you're done. For now, this team will continue with their clinical trials, hoping that in the near future, this tiny device can make a big difference for stroke victims. Am I going to get somebody 100% better? Probably not, but if I can give them enough where they can get some of that independence and freedom back, then I feel like my life is, is valuable and it's, I've done some good things for people. In Dallas, Texas, I'm Chris Conte.